That game can simply be summarized as growth. So the Chicago Bears pick up their second win on the season by a final score of 24 to 18 over the Los Angeles Rams. And while not perfect, there was definitely a lot to like from what we saw from the Bears today. Look, that was not the most dominant performance necessarily by the Bears, but it is more than likely their most efficient performance so far this season. Sure, Caleb didn't throw for over 200 yards, and the receivers didn't find any receptions as a result. But if there is one thing for sure, growth was apparent all throughout that offense. Offensive line had its woes early on, as has been the case all season long, but managed to right the ship a little bit later. And Caleb probably had the most time in the pocket that he's had all season. DeAndre Swift finally saw some running lanes today and contributed in the passing game as the most efficient rusher and receiver on the Bears' entire offense. Look, we've been preaching for weeks now on both of those factors. The offensive line getting it right and DeAndre Swift living up to the contract that he's had. And if today was any indication, DeAndre Swift might actually have some momentum going for him in the next few weeks. Over 160 all-purpose yards, led the way in the backfield both on carries and rushing yards, and led the way in receptions and receiving yards. So all in all, a great performance from him. Caleb's stat line, like I said, fairly pedestrian. Only one passing touchdown, didn't even eclipse 160 passing yards. But without a doubt, that was his most efficient game as a passer. He didn't have to be called on 52 times like he was last week. And the most important thing is he didn't turn the ball over one time today. So growth was apparent at all levels for that offense. Now defensively, it's more of the same. Dominant defense, but specifically, Jaquan Brisker took the defense by storm today. Tackles for loss, a sack, and a late interception to seal the game. It says Sweat finally got a sack for the Bears. That defense as a whole looked really, really solid. Kept a good quarterback who has a depleted receiving core at bay. The whole reason why this entire game shows the growth can be credited to Shane Waldron and that leadership team of DJ Moore, Mercedes Lewis, and Caleb Williams all coming together and truly calling out their coach saying, you need to coach us hard. That paid off in dividends today. Every element of that Bears offense showed a level of growth. Again, it's not the most flashy scoreline. It wasn't the most dominant scoreline, but the improvements were visible. They continue to build on the improvements they've made for today's game in a stretch of games are absolutely winnable. Games like Carolina, Jacksonville, New England, Arizona. There's a very real possibility that the Bears walk out of their next five games, maybe with three or four wins. Into the toughest part of their schedule by far later on in the season could set them up for success and playoff dream could still be alive. Let me know your thoughts down below of what you thought of the game. Do you see the same growth that I did? Like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe so you never miss a video. We'll talk to you later.